If you were thinking about refinancing your mortgage to take advantage of these low interest rates to save money, well, you might want to hurry up because Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac announced that they're going to be charging a new half a percent refinance fee. And in this video, I'm going to be going over what's going on and how you can avoid paying this fee. What's up everybody, I am Jasprit Singh from the MinorityMindset.com and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Mortgage rates are at their lowest levels that we've ever seen in the history of America, which makes refinancing your mortgage very attractive. If you own your home and you have a mortgage, you're already paying your bank every single month. But now, because interest rates have crashed, you can save a lot of money by doing nothing but just refinancing your mortgage to a new cheaper loan. It was like a dream come true, and now some people are trying to take it away, sort of. It could, that's the key word, could become more difficult to score an amazing deal on your mortgage refinance because Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac announced that they're going to start charging lenders a half a percent fee on mortgage refinances starting September 1st. Why are they doing this? Well, it depends who you ask. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are government-sponsored entities and they say that they're charging this fee as a way to protect themselves against future potential mortgage defaults. Now, refinancing isn't a new concept. Americans have been refinancing their mortgages for ages now, but now in 2020, out of the blue, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac feel that this is a good time to start assessing this fee, or as some people call it, a tax, to protect them. Kind of ironically, they passed this new fee when Americans are saving tons of money by refinancing. Naturally, people weren't very happy. Bankrate.com CEO said that this is a quote, a money grab with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac trying to capitalize on the volume of Americans trying to save money on their homes by taxing lenders. And the Mortgage Bankers Association said that this fee doesn't make any sense because the whole point of low interest rates by the Fed and President Trump was to encourage people to refinance and save money on their mortgage. Adding this fee or tax on lenders could make refinancing more expensive in the future. I'll talk about how you can avoid paying any extra fees in just a minute, but something doesn't add up. We are in the middle of an economic recession, and the whole reason why the Federal Reserve Bank cut interest rates to new lows was so people would go out and refinance and save money, that way they'd have more money to go out and spend. The government knows things that we don't. Maybe this is their way of hinting at too many people are trying to take advantage of low interest rates. Or maybe this is their way of saying that this recession is going to get worse in the future, so they're trying to save up some cash through this fee or tax, that way if people start to default on their mortgages in the future, they'll have some sort of cash reserves to protect them. I don't know what the real reason is, but before I get into what the cost of this fee is and how you can avoid paying any extra fees, I need you to hit that thumbs up button below because if you don't, well, the way the YouTube algorithm works, YouTube will be much less likely to show you any of our other financial news and education videos. The way this fee works is if a lender refinances your mortgage after September 1st, this lender will be required to pay a one-time half of 1% fee. So if you refinance your $300,000 mortgage, your lender will have to pay Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac a one-time $1,500 fee. It helps to understand how Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac work because Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac don't directly lend to consumers like you and me. You go out and you get a loan from a lender and this lender is going to lend you money and then Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are going to come to this lender and they're going to buy your loan from your lender and then Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are going to package up your loan with a bunch of other loans and then they're going to sell this out to somebody else as an investment. They understand that lots of people have been refinancing their mortgages because of this 2020 interest rate crash, so this is their way of capitalizing on the volume of refinancing by assessing a fee on lenders. While nobody likes paying fees, the good news for you is now that you know this, you can try to work your way around paying any additional fees. The reality is for many Americans, refinancing is still going to be a very attractive option even with this additional fee, but if you can keep an extra $1,000 or $2,000 in your pocket, why wouldn't you? If you refinance your mortgage before September, you don't have to worry about this fee at all because this fee is not scheduled to start until September. And banks and lenders were not given a big heads up. So if you are able to lock in your interest rate and your closing costs soon, 
chances are banks are not even going to know what to do with this additional fee yet, so you might be able to advert it if you just act fast. So if you are interested in refinancing your mortgage, this is literally the best time in history to do that because interest rates and mortgage rates are the lowest that they've ever been. And if you can lock in your rates and your fees before lenders can figure out what to do about this, you can save a lot of money without worrying about lenders trying to pass on this extra fee to you. Practically speaking, some lenders are going to eat up some or all of this cost because they want to keep you, the customer, happy and nobody wants to overpay on their mortgage. This is where shopping around and using a mortgage comparison tool really comes in handy because if one lender is going to pass the full $1,500 fee on you and another lender is going to eat up the full $1,500 cost, you should go with a lender that's not going to charge you the extra $1,500. That's the great thing about the internet nowadays because you can compare prices with a click of a button and it sucks for lenders because now they're going to have to eat up this additional fee if they want to stay competitive, but it's great news for you because you can shop around and you can go with a lender that's not going to charge you an additional fee. Just make sure you're also comparing closing costs. I don't know for sure, but some lenders might try to raise your closing costs as a way to offset or mitigate their fee. So when you're comparing interest rates, compare closing costs too. This is one of those things where we don't know what's going to happen until it actually happens. My goal is to help you save money, which is why if you are interested in refinancing, it's better to do it sooner rather than later. That way you can get your cash, save money, and be done with it before any of this goes into effect. The big mortgage companies are saying that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac started this new fee because of the pandemic's uncertainty. I personally think that a lot of banks and lenders are going to eat up the bulk of this cost. I don't know this for sure, but if you want to be competitive in this mortgage refinance environment, you don't want to give consumers any new fees. I think Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac saw that too, and they thought, hmm, this is a good opportunity for us to make some more money because lenders have no choice. They have to pay us. In terms of protection against mortgage defaults, a lot of Americans are already paying something called PMI insurance, which says that if you buy a home and you get a mortgage, or if you refinance your mortgage and you have less than 20% equity, then you as the homeowner have to pay a special insurance called PMI. PMI stands for private mortgage insurance. And if you have less than 20% equity in your home, you're gonna be paying this fee to your bank every month or every year and this insurance does not protect you as the homeowner, it protects your bank just in case you default and foreclose on your mortgage, that way your bank doesn't lose money. So banks already have some sort of insurance against mortgage defaults, I guess this new fee is a second kind of insurance. Don't get me wrong, I understand the concern. I mean, our economy is on choppy waters, and we could see a wave of mortgage foreclosures once the mortgage forbearance period ends. But wouldn't it be better to encourage better lending practices instead of just taxing everybody for refinancing? Well, I'm not the one making decisions. I'm just here to keep you informed and to help you keep the most money in your pocket. Now, before I let you go, I want to know your thoughts. Do you agree with this new fee by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, or is it just one big money grab? Let me know your thoughts and why in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with one friend. That way we can help spread the word. If you want to learn more about how you can refinance your mortgage the right way and save the most money by doing it, I already made a video on this and you can watch this video on YouTube by clicking this button right over here. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.